teaching middle school and high school science need not break the bank. Not only can it be affordable, but it can also be lab-based and student-driven. Curious to learn more about an affordable, academically solid science curriculum written from a Christian worldview? Let's spend a few minutes looking at Dr. J. Wiles' junior high and high school curriculum published by Berean Builders. But first, let's take a moment to think back to your junior high and high school science classes. What do you remember? Dissecting stinky frogs? Fume hoods and chemical smells? Teacher lectures that droned on and on, somewhat like Charlie Brown's teacher in the classic peanut cartoons? I remember all of these things. I am that student who barely passed high school biology and chemistry. Thankfully, my experience did not hinder me from teaching my homeschooled teens college preparatory science in high school. Trust me, I had no plans to dissect at my kitchen table. That is until I attended a workshop taught by Dr. Weil at a homeschool convention, and I got excited about science. There are lots of options available for teaching upper-level science in your homeschool. This video focuses on Berean Builder's curriculum written by Dr. Weil. However, if you would like to understand the options and how to find the best fit for your family, be sure to check out our video, Science Unsnarled, where we do an overview of science curriculum following the rainbow family factors, faith, approach, money, individual child considerations, life circumstances, and your needs as a parent. Evaluating Brian Builder Science in the Atomic Age and the Discovering Design series through Rainbow Resource Center's Helpful Family acronym show that these courses offer a Christian worldview and traditional approach. A traditional approach is the one most familiar to us since it is commonly used in the school systems. Traditional curriculum is when the information is taught to the student, either from a teacher explaining the information or a well-written narrative style textbook. But you don't need to be a science teacher to use the curriculum successfully. Generally speaking, the teaching time is minimal. While direct teacher involvement is low, parents will want to be available to guide students as necessary. Your role is to grade the tests and lab reports and help students stay on schedule. You will also want to be available to help students find the right answers, whether in the textbook or the course website and answer service, which we'll talk about more later. The course also supports multi-sensory learning through graphic illustrations, photographs, and highlighted text boxes, hands-on lab experiences, and the optional audiobook. Best of all, the courses are affordable. The textbook is hardcover and will last through several children. The author has created the courses to primarily use household or easily found items. The exception to this are the earth science and biology, which have more specific lab supplies. The first course in Brian Builder's upper level science sequence is Science in the Atomic Age. Science is studied in the context of history with a focus on how specific scientific advances led to today's understanding. Throughout the course, God's design in nature is highlighted and topics in the creation evolution debate are discussed. Lessons are formatted like the Discovery and Design series rather than the Elementary Science Through History series. Designed as a traditional textbook, Atomic Age is the perfect transition from teacher-led science to parent-facilitated lessons. Parents will be more hands-off, guiding and overseeing lessons rather than directly teaching the lessons. While it chronologically concludes the elementary series, it is a standalone transition course for seventh or eighth grade students. Most students will use it in seventh grade, but it is perfectly acceptable course for an eighth grade student who has never studied science independently. As a transition course between the elementary and upper level sciences, it guides students in the amount of the reading to be done each day and explains the process of documenting experiments. If you're familiar with the Berean Builder elementary courses, science in the atomic age does not include experiments or hands-on activities daily, although experiments are still essential. Students may not do labs daily, but there are more days with an experiment or an activity than days without one. Following the recommended reading plan, most students will work an average of about 30 to 45 minutes every day of the week to cover the course in a school year. Discovering Design with Earth Science targets 8th, 9th grade with biology, chemistry, and physics following at the high school level. The Discovering Design courses have been created for students to work independently, with parents providing guidance as needed. But let's spend a few minutes looking at the components. 
first the required components. As mentioned above, the textbook, answer key, and test book and lab supplies are required. For each course, the hardcover textbook contains 16 chapters with a suggested pace of two weeks per chapter. Students should expect to spend 30 to 45 minutes per day, five days a week completing the lessons. There is no daily schedule, so students can set their own pace. But in the introduction of the textbook, the author's suggested pacing is to read until reaching the comprehension check and complete the comprehension questions. The number of pages read each day will vary. There will be fewer pages on the day that an activity or experiment are scheduled, but students should expect to read roughly three to five pages each day. The text is written to the student from the perspective that no teacher is present to explain the information. While this may mean more text per lesson compared to other curriculum, this conversational approach helps students understand the lessons. Each chapter also includes periodic comprehension checks to ensure students understand the material before continuing the lesson. Answers to the comprehension questions are found at the end of the chapter. Most chapters include three to five experiments with fewer in some chapters. Experiments are easy to follow and include a supply list and step-by-step -step instructions. Each chapter concludes with chapter review questions that help a student prepare for the chapter test. Students will need one to two days to complete the review questions. Each course includes a web link to free resources. Resources include errata sheets, instructions, and samples of lab documentation, printable student workbook, and links organized by chapter with related videos and articles to enrich learning. There is also a daily schedule available online for the high school level discovering design courses. Included at the web link is the amazing free opportunity to ask Dr. J. Weil any questions you have about the course. Required lab supplies vary depending on the course. The publisher includes a comprehensive list that is organized by the chapter in the back of the book. We have also included a PDF of the list on our website. The publisher does state the lab kit for discovering design with earth science is required as there are specific rocks and minerals necessary to complete the course. When it comes to documenting the text experiments, Dr. Weil provides detailed instructions on documenting labs on blank paper. You are free to use a spiral notebook, three ring binder, or a journal. If you purchase the optional student workbook, blank pages are included to create a laboratory notebook. I will talk more about this optional resource shortly. The soft cover answer key and test book includes the chapter tests that are reproducible for your family. Answers to the test and answers to the chapter review questions found in the textbook. If you have the textbook, the answer key and test book, a notebook or plain paper, and the required lab supplies, you have everything necessary to complete the course. However, there are numerous optional resources available for your convenience. First is the audio book on flash drive. Available for each of the upper level courses, the audio book provides an audio reading of the chapters. The USB flash drive contains MP3 files that will work on any computer with a USB port. It also works in a portable player or a vehicle with an MP3 player. Next is the student workbook, which is a spiral bound and contains space to record answers to comprehension check questions and chapter review questions. In the back of the workbook is an explanation on documenting experiments and a section of blank pages to create a laboratory notebook. Printable student workbook pages are also available in the online content that accompanies each course. If you're familiar with the Apologia notebooks or lab journals, these are simpler with black and white pages only. There is a reason for this. Dr. Weil prefers students use a blank notebook rather than filling in answers, which allows students to build their own study skills and have better retention from writing the questions and answer. Lastly, the lab supply kits are optional, but extremely helpful. While the author has made great effort to create experiments that primarily use household or easily sourced items, all levels include a convenient lab kit to help you organize your homeschool day. As previously mentioned, the Discovering Design with Earth Science Lab Kit is required as it contains rocks and minerals specific to the course. 
Families may also find one of the Discovering Design with Biology, Microscope and or Slide Kits and the Lab Kit and Dissection Kits beneficial. But now let's walk through Chapter 4 of Discovering Design with our science. Remembering that each chapter is expected to take two weeks, parents or students could do a quick chapter glance and note that there are seven chapter comprehension checks. If I were guiding my child through this course, I would set a goal of completing the readings and or experiments up to a comprehension check every day. This would allow two days for the chapter review and a bonus day to study for the test or a day to catch up if they would get behind. I would also peek at the online content available and make note that there are numerous video clips available that teach about the rock cycle, types of rocks, and so on. While not required add-ons, these videos may be very helpful for your visual or auditory learner. They are also a great option to add fun to the lessons. You could view a video to start the lesson, after the comprehension questions, or at the end of the chapter. It's up to you and your child. Chapter four is on rocks. It begins with an introduction to rocks and minerals in rocks, which leads to an experiment to examine the minerals in granite. After the experiment and lab documentation, students read through the expected outcome of the experiment and then read about the three basic types of rocks. Following this is a comprehension check. Once students complete the question, they can check their answer at the end of the chapter. Following my suggested plan above, the day science class is complete. As mentioned above, students can view the free online videos that are related to this lesson at any point. The next day will be similar. Students begin reading about igneous rocks and complete the experiment, examining the minerals and igneous rocks. They will also compare the granite rock from yesterday to the igneous rock. Once the lab documentation is complete, students continue reading this section until they reach the comprehension check question. Once it is completed and checked, the lesson is done for the day. This daily flow continues for the week. Students read the text pages, complete and document any experiment that may be included, watch related videos on the text website, and complete the comprehension check questions. At the end of the chapter, students reach the chapter review, which may take one or two days to complete. The review is meant to be used as a study guide and students should use the textbook to answer any question they're unsure about. Once the study guide is completed, parents or the student will check the answers using the answer key and test book. Depending on how the student did, parents may wish to help students revisit any sections of the text or they may use the guide to prepare for the chapter test. The student then takes the test and the parent grades it using the answer key and test book. A suggested grading scale is included in the answer key and test book. The chapter is completed and students move on to the next chapter. As mentioned previously, a two week per chapter pace is suggested, but this is flexible and students find a pace that works best for them. The goal is to learn the material and not just read the chapters to pass a test. With 16 chapters, the course may be completed in 32 weeks. Keeping in mind that a typical school year is 36 weeks, this allows for schedule flexibility to meet any life events or to give students more time to understand the material. Dr. Weil has given us an academically solid, user-friendly and affordable junior and senior high curriculum that will prepare homeschool students for college level courses, especially students who plan to seek a degree in science related fields. As a homeschool mom who used other high school science courses from Dr. Weil, both of my young people say his courses help them succeed, especially my daughter who obtained a Bachelor of Science in Nursing and is now pursuing her advanced practice nurse degree in licensure. What I love about Dr. Weil's courses is flexibility. Not only did they work well with my daughter who is a strong learner, they are flexible to work with students who are less interested in science or even struggle a bit. My son used older courses written by Dr. Weil and just spent more time completing the courses. Dr. Weil and Berean Builders have done a great job providing resources to support students like the audio MP3s that read the chapters and the printed or free online printable non-distracting worksheets. I know we have covered a lot of information today. If you have more questions about Berean Builder Science or any other curriculum, please reach out to our curriculum consultants at 888-841-3456 or through our website via live chat. 
We are here Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Time, or email us at consultants at rainbowresource.com. We will get back to you the next business day. If you found this helpful, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. At Rainbow, our mission is to equip families to successfully homeschool, and our videos help us meet that mission.